Marjorie Taylor Greene has proposed an amendment to the foreign military aid funding bills. And um, well, she's calling for space lasers. Oh, come on, no, but, after all this. But I'm not kidding. I know it sounds like a joke, right? It sounds like, oh, look at these lefties. They're just dunking on a Republican. There's no way she would. No, she did it. We've got the receipt. So let's take a look at a screenshot of the bill or the amendment to the bill itself. Offered by Mrs. Green of Georgia. By the funds made available by this act, such sums as necessary shall be used for the development of space laser technology on the southwest border. Do Jews have to run it or no, is it optional? No, I guess she's jealous of the alleged Jewish space lasers that she had warned about years ago. And she wants America to have its own space lasers. Yeah, this feels like a, a Crocodile Dundee moment. It's so crazy. You want to see a space laser? This is a space laser. Okay. So, anyways, uh, look, uh, I'm in cra uh, unfamiliar grounds here because I agree with uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's motion to vacate uh, for Mike Johnson. Ooh. Oh, I hope she succeeds. I hope that the Republicans have another vote that they can't get out of. I hope there is no speaker on the Republican side. I hope they don't pass a single bill going forward, including massive defense contractor bills and Israel. Uh, uh, genocide bills, etc. So go Marjorie Taylor Greene on that. And on the space lasers, yeah, you're not so. I don't know what it means to build space lasers for the border. Uh, there were no, remember the original uh, thing she got in trouble for was Jewish space lasers burning down forests on purpose. Okay, so I don't know if we're burning down the border or if these space lasers do something else. Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's gonna make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you, thank you. Why would Jewish people wanna, and all right, I'm, not, I'm asking questions in regard to statements that don't make any sense. So yeah. I'm just not gonna ask questions. Uh, there are other amendments as well. So there's an amendment to the Ukraine Security Supplemental Appropriations Act uh, in which Marjorie Taylor Greene offered the amendment uh, that states any member of Congress who votes in favor of this act shall be required to conscript uh, in the Ukrainian army or military. Okay, well, that's a fun idea. I actually think that is kind of interesting. So now it it's not gonna go anywhere, let me be clear about yeah, that. Yeah, and it really, it's, it, the problem is that it doesn't quite make sense because uh, if we're sending American troops, then I would agree with the bill and say, yeah, you first, right? Because I hear a lot of yahoos online who are like, when I say, hey, I don't wanna go to war with Iran and America, shouldn't send any troops or money, etc. Look, oh, we should definitely go to war with Iran, it's gonna be easy. We're gonna be greeted as liberators, okay? All right, great. My answer to them is you first. You go first and then we'll follow right. And it's the same thing I say to guys who uh, try to convince you to do suicide bombings. You first, you put on the suicide belt and then maybe I'll follow afterwards. Good luck to you, brother, okay? So I'm not getting involved in that, but Ukraine's fighting against Russia us getting conscripted just for sending money, I'm not sure that that makes sense. But also notice, there was no similar language for Israel. So on Ukraine, oh no way, we don't wanna give them money, uh, defense contractors, blah, 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 deep state. Israel, oh yeah, right away, right away. What happened, tough guy Marjorie Taylor Greene? To be fair, I mean, she has spoken out against sending money to either war effort, right? Okay. So uh, you decide how you feel about that. But just to give you a little more uh, context and information about the amendments that she proposed. Uh, according to Mediaite, uh, this was just the latest in a long string of amendments Greene has filed for the Ukraine bill that have an extremely dubious chance of passage, they're not gonna pass. Including placing conditions like requiring Ukraine to provide assistance to build a wall on the United States southern border, demanding President Vladimir Zelensky resign, paying for any funding from the salaries of any member of Congress who voted for the bill, demanding President Joe Biden withdraw the US from NATO and demanding Ukraine ban abortion. What in the world? You want to give her, you want to keep giving her credit? No. <laughs> okay. But look guys, if you know, her pointing out some of these things at the top there in terms of um, uh, like build a wall in the United, help build a wall in the United States border. I understand the political play there. So she's saying to her base, "Hey, if we're helping them with all this money, why don't they come down and help us build our border wall so we can have defense?" I get it. Again, note not the same for Israel. Israel's allowed to have all the money. I mean, I okay, maybe she's spoken out sometimes, but here she is. She keeps saying Ukraine, Ukraine, but never Israel. Okay, and but when you get to the Ukrainians should ban abortion. 
Uh, okay, again, by the way, I'll also ask, should Israel ban abortion? Well, what are we doing here? So, okay, bottom line is she's a goofball. She's playing up to her base, some portions which they'll like. And I think for even for her base, at some point, somebody's gonna go, God, what are we doing? You really wanna spend money building space lasers? What are space lasers? And what are we doing about abortion in Ukraine? What are you talking about? A lot of this stuff is, of course, total utter nonsense. So, yeah. but that's where we are, where the establishment is on the side of let's screw over the American taxpayers, take all your money and send it to foreign countries, never do anything for you, not give you any of the things that those countries have, okay? But just take your money to help them. And the only people who are fighting back are like good progressives, wonderful, and a couple of lunatics on the right. It's strange bedfellows and strange, strange times.